Hey everybody, welcome back to Warcroof. We're just about to end our turn. There's a giant on the field. Uh, heads down and buckle up. <laughs> this is gonna be terrifying. There's also a harpy. There's all kinds of baddies on here right now, man. But this giant really needs to go. I'm confident we can take him out. But we need to preserve Ryota here. I need to play less aggressively with him, basically. He needs to be more like the homeland security than... Uh, the SWAT team that kicks down doors, I think. Talking about kicking down doors, here we go again. Ah, that's very smart cursing all of those guys. You're just coming in against my wagon. Wagon on the battlefield, always nice. A little bit of a target for the weak units. Doesn't really bother me. The weapon doesn't... Uh, the weapon... The wagon doesn't get less effective if... Um... Uh, if it's low on health, so that's good. Okay, you just just playing with you and my life here, huh? Getting into some dog fights. Okay, the, the knight attacking the wagon. This is the thing, right? The, the wagon can't even attack back. You would think that little horse or donkey or whatever it is would just give them a swift a little kick. Not the case. Okay, here I can actually move in against Trebuchet now. Very tempting. Uh, yes, I think that is actually pretty valuable here. Let's attack the trebuchet. Decrease its attack power even further. Now you're gonna say, oh, it's only that 8%. Yeah, but here we now have a crit. This is why I love the Shibas, man. Never underestimate them. Basically, a dog was also what cost me the last uh, attempt at this map. So, I mean, you know... Like I said, don't underestimate dogs. Oh, there's a nice crit here. Could even crit the giant. Trebuchet has some nice hits ready. Could set up demolish that dude. I think I'm gonna, just gonna choose to do that actually. Demolishing the giant is huge. Carblam! There we go. <laughs> nice. Let's try and be wise. We gonna send our very wise mage up here and destroy this frigging harpy. Good. Feels fantastic. And we have a little flyer right there. Uh, let's move Ryota, I think, back here and probably take this with him. Let me just see whether there's something more important I need to do first. I mean, this this. Papier needs to go, right? Like, goodbye. Okay, very good. That one is gone. Police is coming for me, as you might be able to hear. Uh, they have very... Like, it looks like they have so many units here, but most of them are like... Those are like 60, 40, and then it's like 10% each. It's kind of funny, actually. Let's bring the wagon back here. And just turn it into the Puppy Express. Fantastic. Uh, I can't even attack this flyer right there. Why wouldn't I, right? It's not attacking back because it can't attack ground units, actually. Nice. Now we have one pup. And Ryota and two Lion Guards. One of them is actually quite damaged here. Uh, you can't get anywhere, Lion Guard. You can take down this knight. Let's move this Lion Guard on the bridge right there. And then this pup is gonna walk down here. Be a threat. Yeah, Ryota, you're gonna take it easy here. Just, yeah, just move here and capture from, from behind there. Regenerate a little bit for free. Get our money back in the purse. Uh, you are at 30%. I think I will just come in against you, maybe. This will draw this guy's attention. Oh, he can't attack anyone right now, so maybe I should just annoy those guys a little bit. Where can this thing attack? This can attack my Shiba. I don't want him to attack Shiba. Maybe I can draw the fire from the Ballista with this brave soldier right there. Sounds horrible if I put it like this, but it is a staple. Uh, 
just me putting things in the worst phrasing possible. I think that's a reoccurring thing here on this channel. Let's see. We have 755, which is great. Let's go for another budget option. I can go for a Rio sometime soon. 1250. That's my big hope. Or either a Rio or a Giant. Okay, you are going on the weakened Chiba here. Ah, okay, this Ballista is going surprisingly on this Shiba, alright. Okay, the trebuchet is moving. I think it's the smartest thing to do here. Standing there wouldn't have done anything. Okay. I feel like they're building a wall around that freaking trebuchet right there. So you can take out this. Which isn't a bad idea at all. You can at least damage this trebuchet. Nice. Uh, who else can attack with someone? You can't attack anybody. You can come in here and attack actually. Okay, we got some some semblance of a squad here, I would say. Let's move the Shiba in here and attack. Get rid of the Ballista. This now opens uh, the enemy up to be vulnerable to some air units actually. Something we might consider. They have a Harpy here. But I don't see anything else that would be able to harm air units of ours right now. Then let's also... Is there a smart position for you? I don't really think there is. So let's just attack from over here. Okay. Good. Trebuchet down to 30%. It's very nice. Uh, you can't really move in close anywhere, but I also don't really think I want you close to anywhere. This flyer is still here, but not for much longer, I don't think. How, f how big is your attack radius? It's not terrible, actually. How big is your attack radius? It's a little bit more on the terrible side. I want to get my trebuchet in as close as possible here. If I attack you, there will be 44 to 52. If I move in here with the archer, that doesn't really do anything. Let's just make him wait there. Trebuchet. Can anyone get to my trebuchet if it stands down here? Yeah, you, you. It's like you are not really a threat. I could move my trebuchet there, I'm pretty sure. Let's actually attack this Shaman, because they can actually heal, so they are a threat of sorts. Goodbye. No, you actually can't move here, okay. I guess I should attack you before you attack me. Limit the damage. It's a lot of war group is about, like... Tricking the enemy into allowing you to do a preemptive strike. At least I think it is. And then... Now this co might cost our wagon's life if we don't do this cleverly. Uh, let's see. I think where we want to be... Let's have another quick look. Yeah. So this wagon just drives all the way up here and then drops the Shiba right there. That's great. Now you, if you are field 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so I could be putting my little trebuchet right there. If you move in any closer, it's going to be toasting time. And then you will just come down here and eliminate this flyer. Very good. Because why not, right? Like, if you can remove a unit, you should probably. You just come north a little bit. Reinforce. Didn't mean to do that, but it is always the first option for some reason. Let's... Should we get a Tengu now? I think we should. Sounds good to me. Get one of those. 
And then we are down to 373, giving me another one of these. And we're gonna go a little bit on the offensive. Uh, we have 223 gold left. We can reinforce you right now, but I would rather just wait. If we don't need you, it's alright. Like, just wait somewhere around here. Because you're regenerating for free, so if we can just let you sit there and regenerate, that's alright with me. Okay, it's a surprising amount of damage on the archers still. Always forget how squishy they actually are. So this Shiba is pretty close to the trebuchet. I wonder whether they will remove him immediately. It kind of seems like they're focusing him there. But another thing is that they might not be able to get to him now. Oh, well, we obliterated this guy. Maybe the, the soldier can get to him? Okay. You can, you can see the field is pretty clear down here now, actually. Not the worst thing. Okay, how far can you shoot? You can only reach this guy right now. It's not that good. Needless to say. Uh, Shibas, though. Pretty sure you can get rid of this guy this turn. Dude, you love the Shibas, man. You have to love them. The thing is, I can load the Shiba in here. And so the Shiba can't attack this turn, but look at this. I can still drop him there to enable a critical hit on this guy, right? And then I can actually come in and do 63 to 72% damage. This is not bad at all. Just attack here. Hmm, that's, this feels very good, actually. And getting stabbed and seeing one of the Shibas run away feels a little bit bad, but I mean, can you do, right? So now we can crit this trebuchet as well. Zoop, and it goes. Uh, say hello to the afterlife for me, pikeman. It's it's weird, right? Because we only have one barracks, but the the literal dogpiling strategy still works. I mean, I'm not objecting. The more dogs we can <laughs> use in our battles, the better. Uh, let's see, can they reach us anyway here? It doesn't really look like they can. So we do have kind of free range on our trebuchet. If I move you here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ho, ho, yes. We could get, get this thing in one hit. Also, remember that this guy is still here. Don't be too cocky right there. We can take him out with Ryota. We should absolutely bring one of the healers close in here. Put this guy maybe somewhere down here. We can even attack like this, huh? That's not bad. Again, a surprising amount of damage from the archer here. Very nice. And then we can actually bring Ryota there if I want to. Yeah, I think that's not bad. Could even bring this guy back. Yeah, look at this. If I bring this guy back, is this a good idea? I don't know if there's a good idea. Like if this guy breaks through here. Well, there's nobody else who can really follow that up. Okay, you know what? Yeah, let's bring this guy right there. Ryota, you're gonna go into the middle here. And we do this. Little turtle formation. Heal everybody up. There's, that was worth the price, I think. And we still have 423 gold. One Shiba, please. And that will be it for this turn, I think. Now they are bringing a Ballista, I'm pretty sure this is a direct response to me having a Tango on the field right there. He didn't even scratch that Shiba. Oh, there's another Archer, okay. Again, maybe I have to limit my aggressive approach, but getting that village down there would be very good. Hmm. Okay. Shiba suffering greatly under my command. Somebody put this on a t-shirt for me. Okay, a knight, two pups, 
Watch out for those. You can shoot. Can't shoot the village from me, right? No, you can't. Okay. Totally miscalculated it. Okay. My bad. Uh, you can come back and collect the Shiba. That's what we love to see. And that is exactly what you should do here, I think. You can come in here and just attack the Harpy, which is lovely. Now, having a mage out there on the front lines makes me a little nervous, admittedly. But let's see what we can do here. I've got a lot of guys bullying me right there. So we do 50 to 57. Could come in from the side. You will do seven, uh, 67 to 76. Say this three times faster in a row, man. Maybe I pull you back right here. Do I have somebody who can take care of their warrior right there then? You can move 1, 2, 3, 4. You can move where this Shiba is. Can you attack anyone? You can't. Ryota, you have a move of 4, right? Yeah, 1, 2, 3. Oh, this is already 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah. Let's get the Harpy in there. This Shiba will be loaded, yes. And then this Shiba will just proceed on foot. Now here. Uh, if I were to attack you, I'm pretty sure this will not take you out. You might have some damage to the trebuchet in that case. Could attack you from the back. The only problem with that would be that I can't finish this guy here. Hmm. I think attacking you first is probably the better idea here. Just do it. Let's just have the trebuchet act last, then I can still nuke somebody. Specifically that soldier next to me if I don't like how my plan is going pretty much. You just come in here, yeah, you can crit this guy, okay. Yeah, I totally didn't do the math on this one. I didn't even have to sacrifice health there with the other Shiba. Bad misplay. Now, you, Ryota, you can't get to this guy, but this guy can. And remember, those guys, they crit when Ryota is close by. So we can at least come here and attack like this for 62%. And you can move up here. Um. Yes, that doesn't really strike me as too bad. Let's get him there. It's down to 35%. And then I will actually move you in. You throw down another heal. And it will heal like this. Okay, so this guy, remember, he was at one health a few turns ago. Now he's not anymore. This guy is greatly limited in his movement. So now it will be... Yeah, your range is only five, right? Maybe I calculated with the six from uh, from the Ballista. That, is, that was my mistake. If you stand here, it's one, two, three, four, five. Yes. So you just move down one. Fantastic. You have 473. Give me a Shiba. And that'll be it for now. I might consider getting like two balloons. Why two balloons? Because one balloon, as Emmerich said last mission, uh, enables us to actually transfer two units at the same time, right? Two ground units of any side, uh, size or whatever he said. Now then we could transport four Shibas over to their stronghold and just start ganking it. Like... I'm not wrong in that assumption, right? We just need to like, get rid of their money flow here first. Put them in that economic chokehold. Like that. That would be fantastic. And then here you can actually get to my trebuchet, but I think this is totally worth it. Oop. A village. 
Setch will not accept this. Setch will have to. Nice. Okay. 39 to 46% is acceptable damage, I think. You can't attack anyone from here, sadly. You can actually move into the forest and attack those guys. I like that. Um, could also actually do a blade dash like here, here, and then here. The only problem is there is Satch and there is a Shaman and there are these two guys. So I'm a little nervous about that. Especially considering how they tore me apart, like, apart last time. I had like 70% still left and then they just totally nuked me. If I do a blade dash, I think a blade dash does like 50% of his full damage or something like that. Uh, yeah. Dealing 50% of the damage he would inflict at full health, yeah. So if I do a blade dash, I should come back somehow and not go forward. So if I do the blade dash from here and then here, I could just stand there. It's also not that advisable. <laughs> at least I don't think so. Um... I can come here and do 33 to 40, and then 39 to 46. Not not bad, I think. Let's do this and just attack normally for now. Blam! See how much damage they do to me. It's about 15%. And then I attack from there. They will only do 6 to 13 to me now. Okay, yeah, that's very good. Now this guy is basically uh, not functional anymore as far as I'm concerned. The dogs are still pretty scary. I can attack the dog from here for 36 to 41. That's not bad at all. Still gives me a little bit of room at least. Ah, and then I see what they did there. I can bring the harpy right here to block a little bit. Then you, my guy, sadly, you can't get down there yet. But I am gonna try and get this village. They also put it into their firing range already. Okay, that's a pretty good move. Don't know whether that was intentional by the AI or not, but I will applaud you nonetheless. Okay. My wagon... I think I will plop this Shiba down here. And then can just come over there. Then produce another Shiba. Keep him coming. And then is it time for the balloon strategy? They have a flyer there right now. How is your money situation? You get 600 per turn, but you only have 50 right now. If you send your units down there to meet me, you probably not gonna have enough units to protect yourself up there might be interesting is it worth it able to transport foot soldiers and dog units hmm. Let, let's just try i feel like i want to use this one to some effect okay this dog cannot get to my archer which is great this looks like a pretty safe situation right here, right now. Hope I'm not uh, overestimating my own capabilities here. Let's bring you in there. And just wait. Okay, yeah, here comes the freaking Ballista again. Shooting me at full health for 15% roughly. I did totally not pay attention to the Shaman, okay. You help me. Can't even be mad. Would have done exactly the same. But then attacking with a singular dog. Was that worth it? Like, the other dog can't get to me, right? Okay, you attack me is also not my concern. At least I don't think so. Satch coming in. Okay. That's very surprising now. Okay, I just shoot him, get him out of here. And then the dog come in against those guys over there. The thing is, those guys can heal themselves, so if I do some smart positioning here, we might actually be at an advantage still. 
Okay, what else do you have, my man? It's a harpy coming in. You're attacking Ryota right there. I think this calls for a heal from somewhere. Okay. Good turn. Not bad at all, actually. Classic me applauding my enemy. Let's take this. Won't do anybody any good just standing around there empty. At least I don't think so. I can have some great shots from here. Taking out the Shaman in one hit probably worth it, I would say. Big smacks. Hmm. Okay, now this guy. I hate him. <laughs> I hate him so much. It's like the amount of times Satch has defeated me. Absolutely incredible. He's a master strategist. There's no dog in this card right now, but there can be. Load the Shiba in. Uh, I can attack Satch with the Shiba. I can attack from here. That guy? Not bad. Do that. And then why don't I... I, I guess I could come here and dash through this. But then I would be in prime targeting territory once again. Just can't catch a break. Uh, I think the wagon with the Shiba, you can't move up here? Oh, because there's still that guy, okay. This guy is so small and green, I didn't even see him there. We had a 100% charge. I just can't see a way that this guy's ability is good to use, man. Can the Shiba move into this balloon? It Absolutely can. Perfect. Okay, this balloon goes on a bon voyage. Uh, don't drop the Shibas here, by the way. Just move somewhere close there. Fantastic. Balloon is on its way. <laughs> Give me another balloon, man. If Sedge doesn't die here, his stronghold surely will soon. Uh... Now, what do I do here? I think I will get rid of this little guy with Ryota. Cut you down. Cut. We kick to the dome and it's gone. And then I will put the wagon here and drop a Shiba right there. Just like that. And then I will put a Shiba in the forest and attack Satch with my Shiba. It's a taste of your own medicine, you son of a gun. No, that still qu hurts quite a lot, huh? Okay. Not so confident now, are you? Ah, soldier boy thinks he can defeat Satch. Satch will destroy you. He's at 80% uh, groove charge, by the way. That's mighty scary. I can get... I can actually get close to this. Will the Harpy obliterate me? That's a good question. I can also get close to the Harpy here. Can the Pikeman then get me? Hmm. I'm very tempted, to say the least. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and attack the, the Harpy here. Try and uh, defuse this situation right there. This might cost that brave mage's life. So be it. Then I just come over here and I will put you... I would have liked to put you into that forest. I think I will just put you there. Okay, let's see what they do. Kalissa versus Ryota once again. Ouch. Satch versus my dog right there. That hurts. Okay, now you have your groove move and... This Harpy is still going for Ryota there. Might call for a heal if I can. Okay, yeah, you did some damage to me. But you're gone, okay. You can this guy get to me? No, not at all. Okay, perfect. Or as close to perfect as you can get, I suppose. Can you actually just destroy this Harpy? No, you can't. Alright, we're running a little low on units here, admittedly. Uh, let me move the trebuchet last again, probably. I can 
come here and heal our guys up. I can attack the harpy if I wanted to. Don't forget that I also still have a single Sheba there. This wagon is now empty, but might might be able to block something here. Uh, this balloon. Maybe you just come over here. For now at least. Wait, do, is dropping a Shiba? I think this probably ends your action, so you can't drop them at the same time. Oh, okay, you can drop them at the same time. Just checking. There's valuable information right there. You just load in. And then... What do we do here? That's a very good question right there. I think I can get rid of the harpy right here. Yes. That might actually be a good idea. Getting rid of this harpy. Just watch what I'm doing here actually. Okay, this, this is gone. Which is great. Now I can actually move here and just do a blade dash through Setch. Oh, and then I could even do another one. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, do I want to do another one? I think I actually want to stand there. Huh? Well, yeah, I think I want to stand there actually. You'll never see me coming. Ah. Bonk, You're down to 60% now. I could come here. This guy would probably body me regardless. If I stand there, yeah, but then I can't heal myself. There's a problem. I attack Setch from over there. We do 12 to 21%. We should attack him again while they're uh, still in possession of their full groove meter. So I can avoid building his meter with all these chipping attacks, if you know what I'm talking about. Because I'm pretty sure they build meter every time they're attacked or they attack. Uh, then you can move one, two, three, four, five. You can move here. This guy will catch up to you that way. I mean that sucks, but I don't I can't really help it. Hmm. Yeah, you can just heal. I think I want you to heal from here and you heal in this little cross shape. That's good. So Riot is at least up to 60 now. You can't attack from there, but I'm pretty sure you can attack from the mountain. It's only 2 to 7%, but that's better than nothing in my book. He's down to 40% pretty much now. If you attack, he will do 29 to 39. Uh, you will only do 7 to 14. Let's do this. Admittedly, it is really scary. Let's hope he just can't greed rush all of my units to death here. And then I will bring my trebuchet in closer. Set you have a range of four, right? Yeah, so it's like one, two, three, four. You could be there. If I were to stand here, it would be like one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Should come in close, I think. Come in close like this and then put my wagon somewhere here. And then I will probably just Drop my Shiba army there. It didn't go quite the way I wanted, as you can probably tell, but uh, could be worse, I suppose. At least we have two balloons now, am I right? Okay, let's just bring on another Shiba here. I think that is it. Did I do things too aggressively here once again? Let's see about that. <laughs> I'm just saying for gritted teeth here. I think those guys will kill them. 
Yeah, okay, it wasn't quite enough to hold him off. Let's see what else they will be doing here. What Setch will be doing? Oh, Setch isn't doing anything. Wow, that is very puzzling to me. Will he not just die now? Like, he didn't even retreat. I got you here, and then Ryota is just gonna attack like this. Nice, feels good to finally kick this guy literally out of this map. Whew. There's no escape now, Setch. You're cornered. <laughs> this is where that line comes from. You're cornered. No, no get away from me. You have no honor. We're you are a disgrace. Setch is no disgrace. Setch is powerful. Setch is a hunter. Setch is a killer. Setch is a monster. The world will suffer you no longer. Rip. Kind of feel bad for the guy. I would really have liked to have this guy on my uh, on my side, man. S rank, you humble me, game. <laughs> don't don't tell the game that I lost this mission before. I will accept the S rank. Thank you. Okay, guys, thank you very much for sticking with me. That was a good one. Let's move on to the next one next episode. Uh, I need to refresh a little bit because I am spent. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. But more importantly, stay safe. Have a nice day. I'll be seeing you soon and bye bye.